Hello everyone, welcome to today's review. We're doing a 3-in-1 switch review today. I haven't done switch reviews in a long time, but here we are now. These are the newest MMD switches sent to us over by Squishy Types. And as usual, this will not affect my review. All of the reviews will be as objective as possible. But then again, this is a very subjective hobby. So please put that in mind and take this review with a grain of salt. So I've been using these switches for around two weeks right now to give you a better impression on how my experience with them are. And before we go through that, let us take a quick review of the specs of these switches. The MMD Holy Pandas are priced at 15 pesos per switch. These are tactile switches with polycarbonate top housing, palm stem, and nylon bottom housing. The bottom out force of these switches are 62 grams and the springs are 15 millimeters long. Next up is the Honey Tactile. These are also tactile switches, more expensive than the Holy Pandas. They are 18 pesos per switch and these are palm everything, palm top housing, stem and bottom housing with a actuation of 52 grams and 63.5 bottom out. Very interesting is that it has 18 millimeter two-stage springs, which I really like. I love the feeling of the springs of the Honey Tactiles. And last but not the least, we have the MMD, MMD Cream Palm Switches. The MMD Cream Palm Switches, as the name suggests, is again a full palm switch. It does have, it does have a light spring weight that bottoms out at around 55 grams and a relatively long standard 18 millimeter spring so what are my thoughts on these switches these switches are really good um, especially at the budget price point so let's start with the smoothness of these switches because a lot of times a lot of times when people buy switches, especially for linears, the question is, are they smooth? Okay. And to be honest, out of the box, these switches are a little bit underwhelming. They do have that scratchiness that I can personally perceive. And they do have some spring and leaf ping that I can hear. But, but once lubed, once lubed, all of those are removed. And these are very, very good switches. These are considered quote-unquote budget switches at the price point of 15 to 18 pesos. Um, they are really good enough and at the same time, they're not too heavy on the budget. That's very important, especially right now that there are a lot of competitive options out there. So smoothness is A-OK, -okay, no problems with smoothness as long as you lube these switches up, all right? Let's first go to the two tactile switches that we have over here, the Holy Pandas and the Honey Tactiles. I am not much of a tactile switch guy as I've been reviewing and using linear switches. Most of my videos on the channel are linear switches as you can see. But I did start with tactiles with the Gatoron Browns, the Glorious Holy Pandas and the Boba U40s which I consider as the gold standard of tactile switches. So right here, I do have here my Boba U40. So I consider this the gold standard for tactile switches. And I would like to compare, I would like to compare these two switches with the Boba U40. Um, smoothness after being lubed, I do think that they can go head to head with the Bobas. For the sound profile, all of these three MMD switches are really, really loud. Um, what's the difference between these two switches? Um, the tactile bump of the Holy Pandas for me is very, very light. Um, I would say it's just a bit more tactile than the Gatoron Browns, which is a very light tactile switch. And the sound profile is that of a higher pitch loud sound. So at the end of the video, I'll show you a sound test when I used all of these switches with my Keychron Q4. Um, the Honey Tactiles, on the other hand, are a bit more muted, but they are still on the loud side of the spectrum. 
and I love the tactile bump of these switches better compared to the Holy Pandas. Then again, these are again nowhere as tactile as the Boba U40. The tactile bump of the Boba U40 is very, very prominent. Compared to the Holy Pandas, the sound of the Honey Tactiles is a bit deeper, which I actually prefer. Smoothness is at par with each other. After being lubed, you can't even tell the difference apart. So that's it. That's the difference between these two tactile switches. Um, I think, for my personal preference, the Honey Tactiles win over the Holy Pandas because I love the deeper sound. I love the heavier spring weight and the two-stage springs. And I love the tactile bump of the Honey Tactiles more compared to the MMD Holy Pandas. However, if you do like a lighter tactile bump and a louder switch, the Holy Pandas will be the choice for you. And now, let's go to the linear switch, their MMD Cream Palm switches. Last but not the least. Why did I say that? I love these switches so much. The only downside probably is that they do have a lighter spring weight than I would prefer. But they're really smooth, they're really loud, and I love it way better for me personally compared to the NK creams. I did not like the NK creams. I know a lot of you will have different opinion on this. The NK creams, the ones that I use at least were too scratchy and probably because they're not fully broken in yet. I don't have the time to break in switches guys. These ones just lube them up really smooth, really good. The sound is simply phenomenal. So good that it's it's with me in my Owlab spring right now. So I'll show you a sound here right now. Look how creamy good that is, right? Really creamy, really good, really smooth. Depending on your keyboard on the Keychron Q4, it's really clacky. Here on the Owlab Springs, it goes to a bit of a clock, but really loud and just the way I like it. Um, so that's my review for the three MMD switches. They're a very good contender for those looking for budget, relatively budget switches on the 15 to 18 peso per switch price range. You do have these options. You can consider them because they're really good. The MMD Holy Pandas, Honey Tactiles, and again, if you want a linear switch, that is one of the good switches I've tried for this price range. Dare I say they can even compete with the more expensive switches that I've tried lately. And for that reason, they're staying with me the MMD cream palm switches. So thank you for watching guys. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.